category is Hats Incredible. <gasps> She's so spacey. <laughs> She's got a spinning headache. Oh my god. Bad romance realness. Oh, it just keeps moving. Oh my god, I love it. Cute, chic. Oh, it goes with the outfit. It's very like executive, but in the summer, going to the races. Mm -hmm. It could be like one of the best looks she's given so far. Oh, okay, okay. That's cute. I like it. It's dark. It's like. I feel like she's done that colour before though, but. Okay. <laughs> I just feel absolutely speechless by this right now. I did it. Even just the hat, like, obviously works with the bunny suit kind of thing, but it just fits. It's so androgynous, so, like, she's incredible. I just love her. <sighs> so jealous. Cute. Okay. It's actually a really good look by Monique. Like, I'm not being a huge fan of her looks, but it's cute. Oh, come on. Oh my god. It's like. I like dandelions now. Aside from the top, like, that actual gown, just the colour, the black with the brown, goes with, like,. The white? <sighs> okay, mm hmm. Wow. She's in the top. My fair lady is my I like it. I like the hat. I don't like the gown. I get the bows with the bows and the hat and the hair sort of. She does the whole hair thing, which is so cool and creative. Like it, but I don't love it. I really, really like that hair and the makeup, but I'm not so sure about the hat. Outfit, legs, it is good, but I'm kind of scared she's going to be in the bottom now because of the drag con. Always living for Blair. Incredible. Incredible colour for her. I love the black and white. Flow. I'm not so sure about the gown. It seems a bit... Yeah. I like the hat on top. If she just had a different outfit. Cameron Michaels. Monet Exchange. Eureka. You are the top three of the week. Cameron's look incredible. Eureka was hilarious. Blair St. Clair. The Vixen. <laughs> you are the bottom three of the week. Aquaria. <sighs> Monique Hart. Asia O'Hare. You are safe. Those looks are very top looks though. I think the performance of the other group was just a bit better. Oh no, oh no. So Miss Cracker, Blair, and the Vixen. I love it. Your attitude. It, I would love to know how to make those look good. Unfortunately, I still don't know. You guys really didn't tell us anything about hair. And you were trying to be shady. I live for shade. But in order for shade to land, it needs to be funny. A and there was a lot of shade. Not getting across that those were not actual digs is my biggest setback, I think. Or as a shocking alternative, they could have been funny. It's like you're a dessert on the menu, and I keep looking at you and thinking, like, maybe that's just too sweet for tonight. I, I don't know. I've come from some, like, really dark moments in my life, and I want to lighten them up and become more positive. I urge to find, like, daintiness, because I feel dirty at times. My first sexual experience, I was um, raped at a college party, and from that, I've looked to find uh, pretty things. I mean, I need to get over it, but um, I've tried to turn positive the, the best I can. 
my God. Thank you for being so candid with us. We love you, Blair, and we are family, and I'm actually very proud of you for being so vulnerable. I'm very shaken, and I can't wait to find that motherfucker. Thank you. No, no, I love you. Blair, are you okay? All right. In the drag con panel, though you had some moments, it was just oh, in Yiddish, <clears throat> a Michigas. And some of your cuts were kind of deep too. I really do like Blair Sinclair. I do feel like she might not have done the best in the group, but I like her out of the three the most. And like I say, the Vixen's outfit, the Vixen's performance, Miss Cracker, it was a bit flat. I would hope that Miss Cracker and the Vixen are in the bottom two. Let's come back with a vengeance. Okay, I do like that look a lot, actually. It's really cool. I think, based on her performance, with that look as well, and then this look, she's gonna win. I think from the deliberation, I can tell it's gonna be Blair and the Vixen, actually. Oh, and I have another word for you. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. Two weeks in a row, I'm so pleased for Eureka. Like, she's just killing it. Blair St. Clair, on the wig panel, we had trouble finding your part. The Vixen, your wig flips were a bit of a flop. Miss Gracker, your chemistry on the Come wig on. panel was synthetic. <sighs> Miss Cracker, you're safe. Just had a feeling. You may join the other girls. I don't want to lose Blair. Blair, Vixen. I'm sorry, my dears, but you are up for elimination. Take that everything and bring it into the lip sync performance. Come on. I'm curious to see what they both perform like, so. <sighs> Good luck and don't. Fuck it up. I knew Vixen had some moves, like, she's gonna pull them out. Come on, Blair, come on, Blair. I'm so scared that she's gonna go. <laughs> I just need to say it now because I think it's pretty obvious. <sighs> the Vixen. Shantae, you stay. <gasps> Thank you for believing in me. She turned it out and I'm happy for her. I really just I didn't want I didn't want to see Blair go like at this stage. Blair no. St. Clair, I do declare. Consider this your coming out party. And I want the world to know this is a declaration of independence from the past. Now, sachet away. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I, I didn't say coming. We love you, Blair. I do declare I am the Blair St. Clair, and I'm coming out. Yeah! I do declare. I'm really glad I got to share my story, and I hope that maybe someone can relate somewhere. I think I'm leaving a stronger person, and I wish I could show America even more 
of who I am, but I um, hope that what I left behind me to mark this means the world to me, and um, I promise you, you haven't seen the last of me. Okay, so I've just sort of sat for like 10 minutes at the moment, like after the end of that episode, like, I don't know, I just really, really sad that Blair went home because obviously she was one of, one of my top and it's also really sad obviously to have heard what she had to say and no one should ever have to go through that and I don't know, I just, it's... Like it's really sad, shocking, upsetting, like I was not, no one was expecting that at all and obviously judging it we can't be like oh my god she sent Blair home, like judging it I feel like she didn't do the best in the challenge, her outfit wasn't the best, it was right that her and Vixen would be in the bottom two and Vixen turned it out on the lip sync and like she gave what she had to give and could give and it's obviously not her time. I feel like I want her back for All Stars or Season 11 or something. She'll be back. She'll go away, she'll do a lot of work, she'll come back even more fierce. So I'm happy to think we've got more Blair to come in the future. I'm just so sad to see her go. I was not expecting it and it was so brave and like a hard thing for her to share on the show and like to all the millions of viewers as well so like she definitely needs to be commended for that like it's just so it angers you like to think that people have gone through this and so moving on I'm really sad like obviously Blair is gone but moving on to the episode I actually really liked the episode I thought it was a really good episode with the Dragon panel it was different because they always have like a live sort of audience whether it's like a roast or like something else I thought it was really cool, it was interesting, different it was good to hear sort of like tips and tricks of like different drag aspects as well so it was quite cool in that respect obviously like the wig team it was I feel like it would have been harder to say like do a wig this way or here like maybe like go into like the differences between like lace fronts or like baby hairs and different things, I don't know, but I feel like it was a really fun episode. In terms of the outfits from the Dragon panel, for me, it is a clear top of Eureka and Asia O'Hara. Their outfits were just the best. That was on there, living, painted faces as well, like seriously just loved Eureka's blue wig. The bodysuit just looked incredible, like it all just came together brilliantly. Like she shared with her sort of padding tips, it's just cool to hear like obviously with the bottom half and then the thin waist and then the breast like she just does her proportions really well but I loved like her makeup her hair obviously went with the outfit Asia's makeup was just like it almost bested Aquarius in my opinion like Aquaria was painted for the gods for Thor for Odin even for Loki but Asia was right up there with that but I just wasn't a huge fan of Aquarius outfit for the panel whereas like Asia just absolutely on fleek incredible and onto the runway the hat theme was pretty incredible like, I just love like seeing really cool hats and obviously we've seen a little bit of hats like previously in the series from Miss Cracker but there were some pretty incredible looks and my favorites were definitely Aquaria in the bunny suit with just the way she sold the outfit just everything her she knows her body like she's just got that incredible but it's very like androgynous as well like I love that she does that and I, she stole the show for that and Cameron Michaels with the Gaga, the Bad Romance, like, head, it kept swirling, it was so cool, like, it brought me back to, like, the Bad Romance, the Fame Monster days, just loved it, and, like, the whole sort of, like, space look as well, which was so cool. Eureka's as well, which I absolutely loved, like, I was a bit, like, mm, on the fence about it, because I think we've seen similar looks like that from Eureka, colour-wise, like, when she did the summer look for the End of the World ball, and, but this was, like, so much better, I love, like, the black like superhero villain dominatrix type cape thing that she had going on situation I love that and also Asia O'Hara with the dandelion look like seriously that was just incredible was not expecting that seriously so high up there <sighs> living and shout out to Money Exchange as well because her outfit was just incredible like it came together so well for her I'm really impressed with this week in general I think because her drag con panel look was cool I love like the bronze sort of 
goldy colour with the blue. She's definitely stepped it up this week for looks, in my opinion. So out of Cameron, Monet, Eureka and Aquaria, I will have to give the crown for this week's runway to Aquaria. Like, just absolutely stealing the show. But Eureka's personality on the panel was just incredible. Like, of course she won. I'm so glad she won again. Like, it's just... At this point in the competition, I'm like trying to work out, like, I feel like I've just misjudged the entire thing, thinking, like, basically everyone who I thought was gonna, well, like, be really high up there and win and get to, like, the top three have, like, pretty much gone, and I'm like, what is going on with this series, seriously? But, for me, the front runners I think, at this point, are Aquaria and Eureka. I mean, I think Aquaria might need to do a little bit more personality-wise to sort of keep up with Eureka, but her looks are always flawless. At the top end as well, definitely Asia O'Hara. I'm excited to see more from her. Like, mm -hmm. I think that could be the top three actually. Asia, Aquaria and Eureka. So, we'll see. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will be doing a live reaction to the Untucked for this episode straight after. So stay tuned for that. And thank you all for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye guys. <gasps> you can't sit on a kick. Oh my, oh my oh god. My I god. can't cope with this. <laughs> No! <gasps> no! Oh no! Eyes on me and my looks break neck. Model like body search straight up sex. I never get enough. I'm the bitch that you love. Just call me the queen of crap.